this is Michael with Fiery Tech. I just wanted to go over a couple of best practices when dealing with laptops, laptop cables, charging ports, things like that. A couple of tips. So one thing that I do, um, you want to make sure, as you can see with this charging adapter, this has been bent really tightly. And this is a big point of failure on these. This side is removable. So if you're going to bend a side, you want to bend this side because this cable is easily replaceable. So what I do when I want to wrap up my cables is I actually grab this with my hand. I bring this up. So I fold this portion up, bring it up here, and I take my hand to keep this from getting bent. And then I do my wrap from here. So I basically wrap it around my hands from this point. Of course, this is going to run. Your adapter, your charging connector is going to run here. But you keep wrapping this so you get a nice tight. And if there's Velcro on it, I always pull that to the end. And once you get this wrapped, so this isn't, isn't being tightly bent, and you can actually take your hands and squeeze this right here to create kind of like the nice tidy bundle. And then you get your Velcro to play nice, hopefully. Bring it around, figure out which side is your sticky side, your attachment side. And you can do your wrap. Okay, so you're in a nice tight bundle, and this side is not getting bent. Very important. So that's one thing. The other thing you want to do on laptops, one of the big failure points is, of course, the charging port. So what's inside here that you don't see is most of the time nowadays a very small little piece that has a very tiny screw and a very tiny little retaining clip the slightest amount of bend and pressure on this is going to break that clip and then it's not going to charge so this is the thing to protect at all costs anytime you're plugging this in or unplugging this you want to make sure you're doing a nice straight plug bringing it in and out you want to make sure you're not doing anything they would put pressure on it when it's sitting in your lap or on your bed or wherever. And obviously, you want to make sure you're not doing anything that has any high impact to it. Because if that breaks, then you're in trouble. Um, as you can see on the inside of this, on the laptop side, there's a pin in the middle. If that pin ever gets broken, it's separating some smaller electrical pins. So if that ever gets broken, then you're also in trouble. So uh, there's also, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a very tiny, what I call a stinger, inside that. If that gets bent over to the side, then that's going to kill the ability to run uh, and charge properly. So these are just some be best practices, things that I've seen over time that I think are important to keep maintenance on your laptop and to keep it running well. So hope that helps. Thanks a lot.